Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our first optional bug fix updates for 2024 for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And for Windows 10 and also Windows 11, uh, the optional updates are just that. They are optional unless you have this toggle turned on on both platforms. So if you have, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. These updates will be downloaded automatically even though they are so-called optional bug fix C release updates. So just take note of that. Now for Windows 10, uh, the update is KB5034203. So that'll be listed under quality updates if you uh, do decide to install the update or the update is installed. And for this month, we get one new feature. Well, actually one official new feature and one unofficial new feature, which are once again a couple of features that have come over from Windows 11. So once again, Microsoft is giving Windows 10 a little bit more attention. So um, for a long time, Microsoft didn't include any new improvements for Windows 10. And over the last month or two, has started to push out a good couple of Windows 11 features into Windows 10, as I have been posting. Now, first of all, this update addresses an issue that affects some single function printers. Apparently, they might install as a scanner. So if your printer was installing as a scanner, then that bug should be addressed. Now, the new feature, as I have been posting, because this is exactly the same update that rolled out in preview a week or two ago and has now made its way to the stable version. Um, Microsoft says that in the coming weeks, they are going to bring a richer weather experience or this new weather widget to your lock screen. Now, I haven't received it yet because this is on a controlled rollout. Read the fact that I'm using a screenshot. Um, this includes, they say, dynamic interactive weather updates. So as you hover over the weather on your lock screen, you will see more information. And when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in, Microsoft Edge opens with the full forecast in MSN weather. And just something else to take note of, you can turn this feature off if we just head over to our... Um, if we just head over to our personalization page on Windows 10 and we head over to lock screen, yeah, you'll see that um, you'll be able to turn this feature off. As, in, as an example here, you can remove uh, the weather from your lock screen and obviously if, that's, if that widget is not required. Now, those are the two key highlights. And uh, um, just to mention a couple of um, other quality improvements because uh, this is a non-security bug fix update if you would be interested before we have a look at the unofficial new feature. Now, Microsoft, as many of you know, has been working to ensure compliance with the Digital Markets Act DMA in the European Economic Area, EEA. So they say that these changes will now gradually roll out to Windows 10 version 22H2 PCs in the EEA to be compliant by March 6th, 2024. So that's a new change that will be compliant by early next month. And this update addresses an issue that affects Windows management instrumentation. A caching issue apparently occurred and the issue causes current time zone to change to the wrong value. So that's also been addressed. The update addresses an issue that stops you from reconnecting to an existing remote desktop session. Instead, you get a new one. So that's been fixed. It also fixes an issue that occurs when you change the keyboard language. The change apparently fails to apply to remote apps in some scenarios and the update addresses an issue that affects deleted cloud files. And just on a side note, those are some of the little fixes I've pulled out of the release notes that I thought you may be interested in. But just on another side note, Microsoft hasn't rolled out the fix for the update that was failing to install where they released an update, as I've been posting, that addresses a security vulnerability that could allow attackers to bypass BitLocker encryption by using Windows Recovery Environment, which was this update, KB5034441, which um, was a security update that rolled out as part of the Patch Tuesday update earlier this month. So no fix yet for that, although Microsoft is working on a fix Still hasn't rolled out a fix for this update that's been causing numerous issues and failing to install as I have been posting. And I'll leave uh, a video I posted on this update failing to install down below if you'd like more info. But hopefully by Patch Tuesday next month, we will have a fix for that. But obviously, I will keep you posted. And um, just to have a quick look at the so-called unofficial new feature. Now, if we head back to our settings, this is also a Windows 11 feature, small but 
just something I'm bringing your attention to. Uh, if we head over to the personalization page, you will see here now in the red writing for it says here back up your pictures as folder. Sorry, back up your pictures folder to automatically back up your background image. So you can now back up your pictures directly now from the background page um, in the settings. And if we head over to lock screen, just to give you one or two examples, the same applies. Back up your pictures folder to automatically back up your lock screen image. So there we go. So if you want a backup of your lock screen image and your background image, then you can start that backup now directly now from the settings personalization options for background and lock screen and so on. And that's also a Windows 11 feature that's come over. So as mentioned, um, two new Windows 11 features uh, for this month for the optional update. Um, that one for the weather widget on the lock screen and then backing up those pictures now in the personalization options. Now, if you have installed this update or it has uh, installed itself, just to double check our version in bold by heading to WinVer, which is the About menu, the About Windows menu. And here we can see that after this update has been applied, version 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 19045.3996. So that's more or less what's new in update KB5034203, which is our first optional bug fix update for Windows 10 for this year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.